Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to control your ESP32 with an infrared remote control. And as an example, I'm using the AX1838HS from the Axon Opto Electrical Technology Company. And this is an infrared receiving diode with an integrated circuit. So you only need to decode the timing output of the small module. And let's start by having a look into the data sheet. We see the supply voltage fits to our ESP32 with 3.3 volts straight in the middle of this device. And maybe we have a look into this block diagram. We have the receiving diode and then some amplifying and demodulation and a comparator. And we have just an NPN transistor output with an collector to the output pin. And we have the VCC wire and resistor. And we have our ground pin. And here we have a small setup. So we have our small component, the receiving diode and the three output pins. And if we use 5 volt, we maybe can use a resistor, but we are just using 3.3 volt. So I don't use any resistor and we have to tie our output pin with a pull up to the VCC line and then we can put all the, the output line to our microcontroller. So here we have our wiring. One is their output pin, two is ground and three is VCC. So let's have a look into our setup for today. So I tie up the ground to the middle pin and then the VCC to the right pin and the output pin goes to GPIO pin 22. And I also use a 10K pull up resistor and certainly our small remote control with the sending infrared diode. And also I use this as a module, as a comparison, but we have a small different setup. So this time the ground goes to the right pin, then the VCC or 3.3 volt goes to the middle pin and the left pin is the output of this kind of module. And I want to set up some Arduino code and I'm searching for a library for this infrared remote control in the library manager. And I found some small libraries like the robot IR remote and also this IL. R remote library and there's also an IR remote control and also this kind IR remote for the ESP8266 and I open some example files like this IR remote files maybe we can do the IR receive demo and I'm just switching to the pin 22 to the right GPIO pin and we can try to compile this code but unfortunately this is not without some changes compatible for our ESP32 and we can maybe try another example but the other examples are clearly marked as incompatible so maybe we try this example the receive example and just change the code and try to compile this code but it's also incompatible for our ESP32 and we can do another example maybe this IR remote for the ESP8266 just do the IR receive demo again and switch the GPI open and try to compile this but there's also an issue with this so we can analyze the library or I'm just too lazy for this so I switch to a library from Niall Colburn. So I first try this in the Eclipse environment and I'm writing my old small demo so I know this is working for my setup. 
So this is just also based on some examples from Expressive. But we're starting with our IR remote task, then do some configuration for the remote functionality from the ESP32, the internal remote controller. And we set up some kind of ring buffer and all the events goes to the ring buffer. And then from time to time, we can look into the ring buffer and see if there's items and if the items was received then we do some kind of decoding with the NEC decoding for the remote controls and if we see, receive some messages then we put out the message. But I think maybe it's interesting for the most people how can I do this with a Arduino IDE. So I take this whole example and switch to the Arduino ID. And this is my Arduino code. We just set up some pins. I also introduce in two LED pins on GPIO pin 5 and 18. And our receiver module is tied to GPIO pin 22. Then we set up also the serial debug output, set our LED pins. So they are outputs and we just initially switch them off. And then we go to the loop functionality and loop to our received IO commands. And if we receive a command and the command has the number 22, then we switch one LED on. And if the command has the 25, then we switch the other LED on or off. So just have a look into the small library I've written. And this is also based on the sample from Niall Colburn. So we just do set up some classes and we just have a constructor of our class in initializing command and also the read command. And the rest is all hidden from the user. So let's, let's have a look into our class and, and this all should look the same like the Eclipse example. It's just wrap around a small C++ class. And we have a small constructor with some setups. So we set up the GPIO pin and also we can use a remote port. And if we don't initialize the port, then we just get the remote channel zero. Then we initialize the whole remote functionality from the ESP32. And in the read function, we just set up the ring buffer and we decode the NEC type remote control signals. And that's it. So now a practical demo. We can use our setup and I position the remote control and switch on the one LED and I also can switch on the other LED by pressing the one or two key. And I also can switch the one, the green one off and then we can also switch to the second IR module and I just tie them on. And you can see we use the same setup for switching on the LEDs one or the other and both and can switch them on and off and so on. And certainly we can use a bunch of LEDs like this. So I just ordered 100 or 200, I don't know. And also I ordered a bunch of modules and remote controls bundled together. So they are so cheap that I bought maybe 10 pieces for some dollars. So the whole shipping is more expensive than the module themselves. And today also is the time for another ESP32 module or dev board giveaway sponsored by analoglamp.com. And you find the terms and conditions in this video or in the description. So thanks for watching today. I hope you find this useful or interesting and hopefully learn something. You find all the source codes on my GitHub page in the description. I hope you have a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.